Hi everyone, Wayne here from Luna's World. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to x 11 and um, first of all apologies for the lack of content in the last uh, couple of weeks, three weeks actually. Um, it's just been a very very busy time for me with work and um, and whatnot going on here. But um, anyway, we're back and we are in the vSky Labs um, FA Tensor 600X. Now this is part of their test flight series, so um, ongoing developing uh, aircraft here. But yeah, a very interesting aircraft. Let's jump outside and have a look. So yeah, we got like a helicopter plane kind of hybrid type thing. So um, yeah, fully VR compatible. What an incredible looking aircraft it is. Very, very interesting. I have no idea how to fly it. Um, but let's uh, jump in and find out. So let's look around the cockpit first. So I'm not going to attempt to start it or anything like that in this video. This is a first kind of quick look. Rotor brake, flight off. Okay. Oops. <laughs> There's a dash eight coming in there. We're at uh, London City, by the way. And um, yeah, nice textures inside. Pretty cool looking aircraft have to say fuel there all right well let's just um, let's just fire it down the runway we've we got any flaps don't think so I can hear something clicking but no okay let's see what this thing does Go full power set. And speed alive. Wow, it's fast. Um, oh, 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 oh. Holy cow. Okay, are we a helicopter or a plane? I'm not entirely sure. Do we need collective control? Can't see a collective anywhere. Can we hover? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, but we're up. We just about survived that takeoff. It's worth me noting as well, or telling you that I am running um, the latest beta, number 16, and it's really, really smooth incredibly smooth for me the smoothest yet um, very few stutters if any at London here with autogen on max um, and I just think it looks amazing looks really really good also I'm running active sky next with ultra weather XP and I'm also running uh, XP realistic My goodness me, look at that. Stunning. I'm just going to check actually. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I am now running XP Realistic. Sorry, this is a new aircraft. I forgot to enable it in, uh, in um, X camera. A bit of a stutter there. glorious so the elephant in the room well not really is um, the exciting news that Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming out uh, next month on the uh, 18th I think is it 18th or 16th anyway so um, I'm super excited for it I really can't wait I have no experience with Microsoft Flight Simulator in that I'm not, uh, I wasn't in the beta or the alpha testing, wasn't one of the chosen ones, but um, but that's okay. I don't mind really. I'm not crying in my coffee much, but um, yeah, I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to test it out. Can't wait to try it out. You'll see a ton of videos on this channel on the very day that it's released. I'm gonna get the uh, 
the top tier version, the premium deluxe or whatever it's called. And um, yeah, we'll explore it together, we'll unpack it, we'll unpick it, we'll fly to some amazing places and have a great deal of fun in this new era of flight simulation. Um, I'm really, the, mo the thing that I'm looking forward to the most is really the weather system. From what I've seen from the uh, preview videos, that is just something that we've never experienced in a flight simulator. So yeah, so that for me is the, the most exciting part. Um, as well as of course the visual fidelity and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, the flight dynamics. Um, all reports that I've seen is that it is uh, amazing. Way better than X-Plane, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna try hard not to compare the two, but it's difficult because, as you guys know, this is my main simulator. It has been for quite a long time now. And for me, and again, this is all subjective, this is not, I'm not saying that it's the best simulator, but for me it is. In terms of how I feel when I'm flying, flight dynamics, the visual quality, all of it really. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that being challenged. Are we getting hit by a massive draft of wind? I think we are. You know, there's a few a few little things that are a bit annoying. Um, there's no 737, for example. That's really disappointing. That's my favorite tube liner. Um, and lack of VR. You know, that's another thing. As you guys know, I'm a big, huge VR fan. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this or I'm, I'm bringing the throttle back. Because I just want to see what happens. Oh dear. What's that? Okay. Still spinning. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to hover with this thing. I mean that is the throttle all the way back. And I'm pulling up on the stick. Is it going to keep us in a hover? Or is it going to stall us? It's going to stall. What happens when we stall? Mm, not a great deal. Just kind of spins around a bit. Okay. Alright. Let's increase our... Getting some control. It's a fun little aircraft, I have to say. I don't quite get it yet. But for sightseeing, it's you know this is brilliant, and I imagine in VR, it's going to be amazing. Now look at that! I mean that just looks amazing down there. Anyway, our lives are going to be transformed. I think next month, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it. you know, they've got a lot, in my honest opinion, they've got a lot to live up to, you know, Microsoft here. But from what I've seen with the preview videos, you know, uh, it looks amazing. It looks like everything we want. So I'm just really, there's that weird effect again. What is that? It's like a time, it's like a wormhole. Quite know what that is. Anyway, I like it. It's fun. What was I saying? Anyway, some rambling, something rambling along. Yeah, exciting time to be around an in-flight simulation. All right. Now I know this is normally a steep approach into London City, but. Taking it a little bit more cautiously because I have no idea what to expect with this aircraft. A few little stutters on the approach here, but for the most part, 
This has been very, very smooth in probably the most demanding part of the world. Super happy. Haven't done anything different with my system, by the way. Everything as it was before. in quite fast but I don't know is that normal whoa come on okay we're down well that was fun that was really fun I have no idea if I'm flying this correctly or not but we're down, we survived. And that was a lot of fun. Let's go and see what aircraft are on the Ekron here. Flyby, KLM. Very cool, very cool. Dropping down to 26 frames, that's not so good. 29. I do have uh, V-Sync on, so maybe it's trying to it's trying to get it to 30, I think that's what it's doing. But nevertheless, very smooth experience throughout. Only a few stutters noticeable on uh, on final approach. Why does that always happen? Anyway. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Once again, apologies for the lack of content. Um, as you guys know, I um, I also um, am a full-time university lecturer here in Thailand and uh, have a family and everything else. So, you know, sometimes it is tricky to, um, to get content out. And uh, also, sometimes I feel like I need a break from it. Um, if I don't feel like flying, then usually I won't. I won't sort of force a video because I just don't think the results are good. You know, you can tell that I'm not enthusiastic about it. So, and it doesn't happen often, but occasionally it does if I'm overloaded with work or, you know, stuff like that. So that's kind of why. But um, yeah, exciting time on the run up to Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can expect regular content from here on in. And of course, uh, for the release of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'll get videos up pretty quickly, giving my first impressions and taking you on that journey. Um, and it's going to be fun because I've, I don't have any experience of Microsoft Flight Simulator, the latest one anyway, at all. So um, first-hand experiences coming your way very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the uh, like button on this video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know where you've been flying in the comments, what you've been up to. And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. See you next time, guys. Take care.